Sorry, fellas. Nap's over. Coming, dear! What's eating them? <laughs> it certainly ain't me. <laughs> oh, what smells so good? Your favorite adobe pies fresh from the kiln. Garden salad for me, will you, dear? <laughs> Wait until lunch. Five essential minerals. This snacking of yours has got to stop. You're eating us out of house and home. Where's Junior? I thought he was with you. <laughs> Not bad for an old guy. What is it, son? Was I too rough? Uh, no, it was a clean hit. Just my stomach rumbling, I guess. Well, your stomach's right. It's almost dinner time. Come on, let's go. Oh, Dad, do you think I have time for a quick stop at Coriander's? Since when has a visit to that bookshop ever been quick? Oh, go on. I'll keep it warm for you. Thanks, Dad. <sighs> that boy and his books. Yep, not bad for an old guy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. C. Hello. From the desk of C. Coriander Esquire. Dear Bastion, you'll be late for supper. That's okay. It's Dad's cooking. P.S. Lock up when you're through. This note will self-destruct. Boom. <laughs> Trouble was brewing in the valley of the Cheesy Weezy Mountains. And I don't have to guess who did this. It's the same with all biggies. For too long, those stone-stalled rock chewers have treated us like nothings. Like insignificant bugs. Like the stuff between their toes. I got stepped on last week. Ooh, down with rock chewers. But I got better. Up with little people. Yay! Excuse me, but I'm sure the rock chewers don't mean any harm. Hey, it's Bastion. He can help us. <laughs> no, he's a biggie. I'm surprised he even noticed us down here. Aw, oh, don't be like that, Gluckuck. Sure, I'm a biggie, but I'm not a bad biggie. Oops, sorry. I, I guess I didn't notice it. You see, I say we've been stepped on and kicked around long enough. Yeah! I say let's stand tall and be noticed. Yeah! I say it's time we got even with the rock yeah! Let's go! 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 Let's go!
<laughs> All that Bastion could do at this point was to go with the tinies as the angry mob made their way to pay an unfriendly visit on their neighbors. Hold it, Gluckuck. They're really upset about something. <laughs> They're upset. We're the ones that got stepped on. <laughs> Gluckuck, Mrs. Wobchur is upset. <laughs> it's, it's my baby, Junior. He's... he's... <laughs> Please don't cry, dear. We'll get Junior out somehow. Junior's in there? Are you sure? Maybe he just wandered off. No. We found this at the entrance. It's Junior's... his little rattle. <laughs> don't worry, Mrs. Wobchur. I'll find Junior. I promise. You will? We will. You're coming with me? The way I see it. The sooner we find Junior, the sooner he gets what's coming to him for destroying our village. No offense, Gluckuck, but how can you help? You see, the big people are all the same, always looking down their noses at us. But I got news for you, big boy. Big things come in tiny packages, and another thing. <laughs> Good luck, Bastion. Be careful. Junior. 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 Whoa. Wow. And there's a bloody out here. I'm zippy. Oh, sorry. I forgot all about you. Insult. After I'm through with the rupturers, you're next, Bax. I said I was sorry. Gee, the kid could have gone down any one of those passages. What do you think? Whoa! What do I think? I think this is no place for a baby, no matter how big he is. <laughs> Why did I let you pick this passage? What's wrong with it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just a little too small. Yeah, well, maybe you're a little too big. Exactly. And Junior's bigger than me. There's no way he could fit through here. Isn't that just like a baby? Always bringing size into it. We'll never find Junior at this rate. <laughs> Is that you? No. Please tell me that was you. It wasn't me. I think it was him. Girlfriend back there. Spider rats, very deadly. Uh. Whoa, what big teeth they have. All the better to eat us with, right? What do we do? Let me handle this. There's only one way to beat these things. Bastion, I need total concentration to pull this off. No false moves, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> What's happening? This place is unstable. I'm trying to tell. 
kill you! Next time, fight harder! If there is an next time. Gluckuck and the baby Rockchore continued deeper into the caverns. It was clear to all of them that they were hopelessly lost. Find a way out too. Well, it looks like we're out of rocks. I'm just about out of time. Never fear! The tinies are here! <whistles> Mama! Papa! Junior! My baby! Hurry, Gluck up! Booga booga like me can do it, so can you! Booga booga! 
Thank you for saving our boy, Bastion. Hey, don't thank me. Lockock's the real hero. No, it was nothing, really. No job is too big for us Chinese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Nice bug. Lockock. Oh. Junior avoided a war, and for the first time in a long time, Lockock was at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> To show their gratitude to the Tinies, the Rock Tours helped rebuild the village in such a way that they'd be well out of reach of the baby Rock Tour. Gluckock, Bastion was reminded that size has nothing to do with how big someone really is. Gluckock and the Tinies went on to have many more adventures, but that's another chapter in the never-ending story. <laughs>